Hi guys, today for our Three Minute Thursdays, I wanna talk about the importance of a gratitude practice. So I've talked about gratitude numerous times, but the benefits of gratitude is it allows you to really shift your perspective from negative thinking into more positive thinking. Research says that we have somewhere between 60,000 and 80,000 thoughts but majority of those, upwards of 90% of those are negative. And in order to change our mindset, it takes a lot of work. And one of the practices that I have implemented on a regular basis is gratitude. Now, I practice gratitude every day in my gratitude journal practice, which you can definitely check out and hear more about. But I also have implemented a gratitude jar for my daughters and I, and I love the practice. It is so exciting, and that's exactly what I'm going to share with you today. The best part about it is you can get started right away. So let's talk about it. So as you can see, I have a mason jar with some like funfetti at the bottom to make it exciting, which is like one of my favorite colors, hence my pillow and the funfetti, like turquoise. But Anyways, I got this from a local grocery store, nothing expensive, nothing like extreme, something super simple that you can go grab. And then I cut up some strips of paper from like cardstock and just different like colored paper. So I got like random colors. The, pa the colors in the paper don't really matter. It's really up to you. And what I do every single week on Friday is I jot down one thing from the week that I'm extremely grateful for. And it can be like a simple explanation. It can be something, you know, ex extensive. And I write it and I fold it and I put it in my jar. So after several weeks, I will have numerous little sheets of paper in here that I can pull from. Now, I do empty it after every so often, but one of the things that we do, my girls and I, every single New Year's, is we meet together just for a quick second in the living room and we go through our gratitude jar. So we each take a moment and we pull out one gratitude and we kind of go in a circle and we share each thing that we're grateful for from the year. And it's so exciting to do because as the year goes by, a lot of times we forget the things that we've experienced. We forget the fun things that we learned or that changed or the things that we were looking forward to that, that came true. And so implementing this gratitude practice has been life-changing for me and my daughters because it allows me to focus and reflect on the things that happened through my days, my weeks, and my years, focus on the positive parts of those instead of the negative parts of those. So I share this activity with you guys today because this is something that you can start immediately. I think that so many times we focus on the things that overwhelm us, that frustrate us, that anger us, that make us anxious or depressed. But what would happen and what would your life look like if you chose to focus on the things that you were grateful for, on the things that were going well in your life? Some of you may be questioning, well, I don't really have a lot of things that I'm grateful for or a lot of things that I look forward to or I'm excited about in my life. And I once had a pastor ask me, what if you woke up tomorrow with only the things that you thanked God for today? I bet you'd be grateful for a lot more than you know it. So I want you to start trying this practice. Let me know how it goes. You know, I like to ask a question before I go, and I want to ask you, how would your life shift if you made gratitude something that you were committed to more regularly? Comment below and let me know. Make sure you hit like and subscribe before you go. And until next time, I'll chat with you guys later.